I wrote it in 9899. And I, I really thought it wasn't going anywhere. <laughs> Look, I hit the true story. I wrote it for me because it was a response to something we call Y2K. Remember that? Look, for the, the younger people here, uh -huh. there was a time called the 1990s. <laughs> I mean, there were wars going on, but we weren't involved, so it was the fault of the course, but I got it. It didn't matter. It was an amazing time. It went to a peace. Oil was cheap, and the stock market was booming, and if you put a dot com on anything, somebody would invest in it. And times were so good, the president got to do dirty things with an intern, and nobody cared. That's how the good times were. Now, there was something on my horizon called Y2K. Your parents will explain it to you later. It was a time when they thought all the clocks New Year's Eve 2000, just bing, and all the computers would reset, and they would launch missiles, and the missiles would fall on the farms and the banks, and just everything would go apocalyptic, and Mel Gibson would be king. So, <laughs> so they, and, and I'm not talking about, people started getting ready for this apocalypse, all right? And not like, not like crazy survivalists who like live out in the wilderness and like want it to happen, you know, because it's like, yeah, then I'll be out of that No, like grown-ups with jobs and lives, and they were stocking up, like your parents. They'll admit it to you someday. When you're a little older, they'll be like, we bought a generator. <laughs> so all these survival guides were coming out, and I thought, well, what about a survival guide for zombies? I'm scared of them. Certainly someone must have written that. So I went looking for it. I'm like, come on, there's got to be some loser out there who has all this spare time on his hands, and nothing to do but think about zombies and research and write a book. Well, I guess I'm that loser. <laughs> Two hours a night, sat down, and I just I worked and I researched and I wrote it, and then I stuck it in the portal. And that was it. And um, mm -hmm. then I went and got a real job and I sold the script and I got a job working on SNL and I met a book agent talking about it. And he's like, oh, I can get it published. I'm like, yeah, you do that. <laughs> <laughs> and then we'll go elect a black president. <laughs>